Back at Mazda Raceway, Laguna Seca, still under our fourth yellow flag of this race. Hopefully we will be going green shortly. In fact, the Mazda 6 safety car pulls off. And Matt Plum, using typically canny, rumbum, Porsche, Grand Sport pit strategy, has worked his way to the front of the field. He needs, he leads Nick Galanti, Matt Bell, and Mark Wilkins. Over the brow and down to the hairpin. The Andretti hairpin, turn two at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. All these guys on very different strategies. Matt Bell has about, oh, 35 minutes on this stint, so he's gonna need another pit stop unless we see a massive amount of caution before the checkered flag here today. And they uh, wanna look back to like John Edwards, Shelby Blackstock. They made pit stops just about 10 minutes ago. And uh, they may need a little bit of help for sure to get to the checkered flag, but if they do make pit lane, it'll just be for a splash of fuel. They're in pretty good shape now with their track position. Matt Plum is our SRT halfway leader in this race. The unmistakable colors of Rum Bum Racing. And that Joe Barty, I mean, he's a crafty little guy, isn't he? I mean, he always gets the car exactly, picks up the halfway mark. He does all of the things right. And the other thing that they're willing to do is sacrifice the points on Nick Longy, and that's what Nick, Nick Longy said all along. I don't mind. I'm not in it for the championship. I'm here to win, win for Rum Bum. They need to drag me out of the car early. I'm totally cool with that. Now, drive time has to be accumulated under the green flag. More important is the race win. With more on that car, here's Brian. Bob, I talked to Matt Plum earlier, and they did not qualify well. They qualified in 13th. In fact, that Porsche has never been particularly strong at qualifying up front here at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Why? Torque up the hill, and I talked to Matt about the gear ratios, and he said, we just don't have the right gear ratios for this racetrack. We've got to use second gear in a couple of places, and then it just falls flat when we shift to third. However, what has won them championships, both team and driver, is strategy. They played their hand, they're up front. They get a couple of yellows going their way. Calvin, they can strategize themselves into another victory. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you, like you say, he's canny, he's crafty. Look at this little battle there. Oh, man, two Mark and Wilkins. three wide. Unbelievable with that Aston up front. Yeah, Mantello Autosport having a good weekend here. They're taking advantage of the little bit of balance of performance here on the Aston Martin. Mark Wilkins having a great run. Up to second there. The car keeps shutting down, coming out of turn three. That's the corner he just came out of, but he seems to be accelerating well right now. I love to say it. This is an angry little group here that we're looking at. <laughs> Chris Wilson right in the middle of this mix as well in that dark black Aston Martin. John Ed was just trying to slice his way through nice and clean. He's got a Rand Matt Bell there. They're good buddies off the racetrack and uh, playing nice together right now on the track as well. I mean, look at the lineup. Mustang, Camaro, Aston Martin, BMW, Nissan. Look at Edwards, he gets the launch there off of turn six, Bob. He's got it, he's got the inside of the Mustang down into the brake zone for the corkscrew. And what really messes oh. you up is you lose not one position, but you can use a lot. He gets turned a little bit. That was a good save by the yeah, Mustang. Yeah, that was. Nick Gallant doing a great job there. He isn't intimidated by the group that he's around right now. Nice job. He had to do that, Calvin, because if he had left that nose open or left that hole open, it would have been two or three positions instead of one he lost. Shelby Blackstock there in that blue and white four-line BMW. He's trying to come through the pack. Oh, look at that. Big oh, move to the dive. inside. That's tight. Maybe Shelby can take advantage here and just uh, get a little bit earlier on the power coming off of turn 11. And it's the drive off the corner. If you pinch that thing down, get on the throttle, spin the tires for a second. Here now, he comes again. Yeah, this might work. This might very well get the job done. No! Close is want to give it up. This oh. is great. Contact. Oh, almost turned him. <laughs> this Wrong is good on. stuff. Yeah, he loosened him right there. I'm not sure much longer Matt Bell's going to, I wouldn't say put up with it, because I think Nick's <laughs> doing everything he's entitled to, but uh, Matt can see the rest of the field pulling away from him. The guys in front of him are taking off here. And behind him, he's got Shelby Blackstock, Lawson Aschenbach, B.J. Zacharias, all looping in his mirrors. Boy, I tell you what. Not, look, oh, look here comes. Oh, and another Black little Stock. bit of rub. Got him on the inside. Yep. He Black got Stock the job run done. Up the hill. Yep, and now Aschenbach will also try to take advantage. Shelby got in there and just loosened him just a little bit. Perfect job, actually. Yeah, he just got hung out to ride there, Matt Bell. He got that little knock there by uh, Shelby going into turn five. 
Turned him a little bit, did a nice save. He's got great car controls we talked about over the years, but uh, lost a lot of track position right now. These Stop guys get, they oh, don't get a lot sideways, plunging down the corkscrew. They don't get mad at each other when you race like this. I mean, you get rubbing and pushing around on each other. You know, there's always a payback thing, too. You, it's not over with. Yeah. Here's a good run down the inside, turn 10. You got to be careful here, though. This is a high-speed corner. He's got position, but he'll be on the wrong side for the hairpin. He's probably going to lose that position. Look at the Camaro on the inside row, too. He'll get a good run off that corner. We'll see what happens. Blackstock will keep his foot in it, and he almost gets sideways. And uh, out comes the course. yellow. Oh, 